everyone, this is Batfan87 here, and uh, this is my friend Mike. What's up? This is my friend Clayton again. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're going to be answering some questions for you guys that have been asked from my other friends and co workers. Uh, and later on, if you guys have any other questions for us, just comment down, down below and we'll try to answer them. So, first question we got What got you into video gaming? Mike, can we go first? Oh, uh, yeah, don't put all the pressure on me or anything. Um, let's see, as a little kid I was much, a big recluse, so I just kind of, my parents felt bad for me. So it was either video games or board games. What? Video games are more entertaining. What about you, Clayton? Well, what really got me into video games was uh, Halo uh, Combat Evolved on Xbox. I really liked that. That's what really got me into gaming. I played games before that, but that's what really got me into gaming. I really liked Halo on the original Xbox. What got me into video gaming is uh, Super Nintendo. I remember playing it, got it for Christmas, got Super Mario World, loved it, and uh, played it with my mom and dad, and just loved it ever since. So, next question. What is your all-time favorite video game? Clayton? Uh, mine would definitely have to be Mad Max on the PS4. It's really fun. I think it's a really underrated game. It's fairly cheap, and I haven't seen any, you know, really a lot about it. But I really like it. It's fun. It's cool. What, I just what do you like, like about it. it? Well, there's a lot. It's it's basically like Fallout and GTA V combined. Super fun game. Super fun game. You just drive around and you're Mad Max. You, you know... Blow up cars, you attack people, you got a hunchback in the back that shoots your harpoon for you, you get thunder poons, really cool. <laughs> I tried to keep a straight face for the thunder poon boy, I swear. What is your favorite game? Uh, uh, I say it would have to be Call of Duty World of War. That was the first one that really got me into online gaming, I just loved it. First one had zombies too. Yes! And I haven't played zombies since then either, so. My all-time favorite I have two I couldn't pick just what? one. Uh, yeah mine has to be Resident Evil 2 oh, yeah. and God of War Resident Evil 2 uh, had two, two different scenarios that you could play you beat it the first time going through and then once you go into the second scenario everything that you've done in the first one has happened in the second second scenario and uh, it's pretty cool I liked it and God of War it was just First time ever button master game that I've ever played, and I like Greek mythology, so I thought it was pretty neat. And then, see, our third question is, what is your favorite gaming console, Mike? 360. Why? Call of Duty World of War. <laughs> Online play. I put a lot of lot of time into 360. Let me tell you, original. Is it because of one. hardware, or instead, of, like along with the games, or? Um. You know, I think it was mostly just the playing online, getting to interact with other gamers, which I'd never really got to do before. Most of my friends thought I was a big nerd for playing video games. <coughs> nerd. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite gaming console? Well, if you had asked me this before I got my PS4, I would have hands down said PlayStation 3. I love my PlayStation 3. You know, there was a lot I liked about it. You know, free online gaming. thought that was a big plus. You know, when I first started online gaming, I, I, I thought it was awesome. Best thing ever made. But then I get my PS4, found out I had to pay. I was, I was a little disappointed at first, but no, PS4, hands down, my favorite console ever. Lots of, lots of fun games for it. I like how it's set up. I like all the features it has. Just a super great console, I think. My favorite video game console, I own quite a bit. If you've seen my game room tour, I own quite a bit. I just recently got the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, he's got like three. Yeah. Um, three Nintendo Switches? No. <laughs> no. Uh, my favorite would have to be Retro. I like the Super Nintendo. The reason why is because it had a lot of great games. Um, Mortal Kombat came out on it. And... <laughs> Anyway, uh, a lot of great fighting games, a lot of ports from arcade games came out on Super Nintendo. Uh, I was a really big Street Fighter fan. Um, 
I, I just like the Super Nintendo. I mostly play the Street Street Fighter on the big arcade machines. Yeah. I never really played it on Nintendo or anything. It's pretty good. I actually have Super Street Fighter 2 for Sega, which had to be my second favorite console, but my old time one, it had to be Super Nintendo. Then now, see our fourth question. What is your greatest achievement slash milestone in a video game? As I say, you want me to go first? Because last time we asked you this, you kind of got stuck a little bit. Come on, uh, I was torn between my two. No, it is, it's, but I'm going to go with one. Okay, It doesn't have to be like an in-game achievement. I know. Well, kind of... My greatest achievement, I would say, back when I first started playing video games, I was playing RuneScape over at the Boys and Girls Club in town. And I decided one day to get ballsy with my character. I go all the way up to the top where the strongest uh, creatures are. And I had to fight, and I got into a fight with this like level 93 demon. And I'm only like level 34. <laughs> so two hours later, I finally killed the stupid thing <laughs> with help from a couple people. But they they left me. So RuneScape. Yeah, I remember that game. God, RuneScape. You played RuneScape. I played RuneScape a little. <laughs> I I got into Rune. Like, <coughs> I didn't have a computer much growing up because we, well, we had a computer, but we had dial-up internet, so, oh, God, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I couldn't really play online, what little I did get to play online, like, I got into RuneScape, like, right as soon as the RuneScape phase was kind of ending, and then we got rid of our home phone, therefore our dial-up internet, even though it sucks, it was better than no internet, <laughs> and so, RuneScape. I really haven't got back into it since. RuneScape got me into playing World of Warcraft. We all never, saw that never played World of Warcraft either. <laughs> that's that's the the crack. <laughs> you, that's the reason you don't play on uh, on the PC anymore. That one of the reasons <laughs> I had to weed myself off. <laughs> My greatest achievement would have to go back to Super Mario World. I have completely obliterated that game. I've got all the way to Star Road. Completed everything that you could in that video game. I. I, it is to get to Star Road first of all is really hard because you have to unlock certain areas to get to it. Um, there's different secrets. There's different little you know the exclamation little exclamation th points. Yeah, that you have to hit to send them out into the world. Uh, that would probably be my favorite uh, and my best achievement in a video game. Uh, now recent, I don't really think I have a recent. Not yet, anyway. Until I beat Breath of the Wild, that'd probably be a good achievement. Am I allowed to say my second one? Because I like really, yeah. really proud of that. My second one is whenever I got—I don't remember what the achievement was called—but it's going through an entire level on World of War, with on veteran or hardened and not dying. That's pretty hard. That was a bitch. What's your? What would be your second? You didn't ask me my first. <laughs> what was your first? Well, my first greatest achievement would probably be getting a thousand headshots on zombies with no glitches, no cheating, just legit gameplay. It I got a lot. thousand game, a thousand headshots in one game. I don't, I don't cheat that much. He glitches I just, a lot. I exploit the advantages within the game Cheated. that the game Cheated. creators put in there, and I just use them to my advantage. Not cheating. They didn't but this put time them in I, there. I did not even use a single glitch. I just with legit gameplay I've got over a thousand headshots. Wonder Waffle. In one nope, without the Wonder Waffle <laughs> in one game of zombies on the giant on Black Ops 3. Really fun. I know a lot of people do it. It's it's a pretty easy spot, but that's probably my still greatest achievement. So what would be your second? If we're going for seconds, what would be your second? I don't know if I really have a second greatest achievement because, you know, I just, I play games. I'm I feel not like you really play a lot of Call of Duty. Eat, eat maggots on Mad Max. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that, that's, that would probably be my second second achievement. I forgot about that. It's really cool because, you know, most games are, you know, they kind of avoid that. But, no, literally in Mad Max, on PS4, he just, he finds a dead corpse. You go up to it, you hit the button, eat food, and he just... And he's seen a handful of maggots just, I mean, right in front of you. It's awesome. Coolest thing ever in a video game. <laughs> if I ever make a video game, 
I'm gonna put the ability to eat maggots, no matter what the what the video game is. If it's what a Lego you, game, you're gonna be able to eat maggots. What are you? What Car are you racing game, make? you're gonna eat maggots. I feel like you're gonna make like Bear Grylls survival. Oh yeah, that'd be great because it'd go along with the eating maggots part. I'm drinking your own pee. No, I wouldn't go as far as say that. Just the eating maggots. That's like part. his big thing. He drinks his own pee all the time. I don't Bear Grylls do. <laughs> I mean, I don't drink my own pee. This is water. <laughs> so, our, our final question would be your favorite video game to film adaptation. I feel like all the pressure's put on me because you're not prepared for this as well as I am. Completely unprepared. <laughs> um, let's see. It would probably be the uh, Halo movie. I forget what it's called. Forward Unto Dawn? Forward Unto Dawn. That's ah. cool. Yeah, I really like that Ooh, one. That is, a, that is a good one. I really like that one. I, I wouldn't say that's my favorite, but I thought that was a good one. I really... Like, that really gave me, like, a size comparison because I didn't realize how big Master Chief was in video games because, you know, I just never noticed, apparently. <laughs> but in the movie, he's fucking huge. He's, like, eight foot tall on his armor. He's incredible. Freaking awesome. I recommend it. It's on Netflix. By the way, language advisory. A little late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I cuss? Yeah. Um, sorry, it's okay. Go. I'm over here trying to hold my tongue, and he's just over there dropping the F-bomb. It's pretty fucking like awesome. Yeah. I love Apparently it. Apparently it is awesome. He said the F-word. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you enunciate how awesome a movie is. My favorite. I could pick a favorite one again. I have two. So if you guys want to go again, that's fine. No, nope. my favorite would be Mortal Kombat oh, movie yeah. and Warcraft. No, see, Warcraft, I haven't seen so I Warcraft, but I've wanted to see Warcraft. But my second one would probably have to be Resident Evil. That was that was a game first, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Resident Evil, I really like the Resident Evil. I know the movies aren't really from the game, you know, and it's completely different, you know, got different characters, but I still really like it. You know, the newest one, I really hated they ended it and how they ended it, but they ended it in, I think, a way they could continue the series even though they say they ended it. I haven't seen the new, the new Assassin's Creed movie. I haven't either. So I haven't I seen to, that. I really want to see I that. I really want to see that, and I I can watch it. I've, I have the ability to watch it. I have not seen it yet, though. <laughs> Probably going to go home and watch that, but I have a lot of other movies... That one of my friends got me that I have to watch. Yeah, that's one of the abilities his glasses give them. The ability to watch movies. No, these glasses let, allow me to see in the future. That's why they're so thick. <laughs> so I'm going to throw a question out here that we haven't went over. Oh, so cool. now now we're all <laughs> equally unprepared except yeah. for you. Except for you. Yeah. So what would be your guys' all-time all favorite... TV show because my channel's not all about video games. Oh. All time favorite TV show. All time favorite TV show. HBO, Cinemax, see regular TV, I, hands down. Doctor favorite. Who. See, I've never That's really easy. watched Doctor Who, so I mean I've seen a few episodes. <laughs> it seems really weird to me. Uh, favorite TV show. I really like you know several TV shows on Netflix. You know. Netflix has really great TV shows, you know, but I don't think I have one favorite, but probably my most recent favorite is Hawaii Five-0, the new one. <laughs> I really like it, you know, I get focused into a TV show and I watch all of it until it's finished. But right now, I'm waiting on The Flash, I'm really disappointed how long it's taking to get back on Netflix. I watched season one, season two, I, I was trying to hold off, but I bought a few episodes of season three really didn't want to do it because it made me want to buy the rest of them and I'm broke because I don't have a very good job I don't make a lot of money I'm not rich by any means I wish I was I really wish I was because then I would just quit my job and watch movies all day I'm not rich. so that's his favorite TV show yeah oh, the, new, the new Hawaii Five-0 actually it it would it would probably be a tie between the new Hawaii Five-0 and The Walking Dead because The Walking Dead I forgot about that because it takes like super big cliffhangers and I hate the cliffhangers. So, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the most recent season of The Walking Dead, the fucking tiger launches and attacks 
That's freaking awesome. <laughs> go watch it. You the last have, episode. You literally could have just said, go watch The Walking Dead. It's amazing. Not it's fucking all these amazing. Details. A tiger. A tiger jumps out of nowhere and attacks. Like, how, mu how much better could you be? Remember Zombie Apocalypse? They got a tiger and it's attacking. It's <laughs> awesome. Well, best the, TV show the ever. The governor had a tank and we saw what happened to that. So okay, but this is a but living tiger. Rick had a Daryl, and Daryl just fucking raped the tank. <laughs> there was no no chance stopping the tank. Daryl was like, "Nope, tank. What's that? Never heard of it. That's like a speed bump." It didn't even slow him down though. Like he just and the tank blew up, and it was done. Tank gone. It's I feel like, like we never could record existed. a whole second video yeah. on just him talking. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't talk this much outside of the videos. I just I get really excited about this cool Walking Dead stuff. So I really like Walking Dead. He's finally getting comfortable in front of the camera. No, <laughs> I won't go as far as say that. But so, I just really like the Walking Dead TV shows. They're freaking awesome. I recommend them. They are Clayton approved. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite, I have. It's been my favorite since it came out, which is Game of Thrones. That is my favorite. I've not got to watch it yet. And then I have seasons one through five, and I need to watch you it. You need to watch them. I heard it's really good. You don't get a favorite I, character because they die. <laughs> I heard in the first episode they paralyze a kid yeah. by throwing him out the window in the first episode. <laughs> because in the he first because episode. he witnesses an incest. That's why. Yeah. And my second favorite, which is that it just came out on <laughs> Stars, I believe. It's called American Gods, and it I is saw amazing. For that, it looks good. American Gods. Yeah, it's old gods versus new gods, and it's pretty good. Oh, you know a show that I haven't seen in a while, and I forget what it's called. Uh, but they used to do like warriors, like they would like, you know, like bring you know, experts from Spartans, you know. Experts on, you know, Spartan martial arts it was and Spartan on Spike. weapons. I can always talk about it. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it was on Spike, and then they would, you know, bring somebody else that, you know, knew, were experts in, you know, another, you know, fighter, and they would compare them, and then they would run a thousand virtual battles between the two, and they would see which one yeah, was the that greatest was warrior. Was really... And it was awesome, and I haven't <laughs> seen it. Hey, if you're, if the people that can bring this show back, if you're watching this, please bring it back, because if you brought that back, I'd, I'd instantly I'd forget about The Walking Dead because that show was awesome. It was gruesome. It was cool. They would test the weapons out like they would bring like pig arms or pig bodies, and they would test it out. You know, freaking awesome. <laughs> it was gruesome. Like so you know, they filled the blood. To and talk and now. <laughs> just talk about TV shows. <laughs> he just goes full ham in there. <laughs> so if you guys have got other questions. Uh, or ask away. Yeah, just keep just ask, ask and if this video does really good, we'll do another one. And Don't forget uh, to subscribe right here. Like and subscribe. And normally it's like going to be right over here. <laughs> <laughs> right over his face. But it's going to be right up here next time. This time. Yeah. Since my face. Probably is not. So right here. But if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe, like the video, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Shout out to all my coworkers. <laughs>